Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. I tried to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'll just have that I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Ermai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. 
Rookwood. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Rona's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Rebellion. <laughs> This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Let me listen. Rebellion. 
Must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Accio. Bring it. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old bending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Yes. Remember, your wand is a fundament of your magic. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bulls and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? gobstones? Little, Little balls, balls, like marbles. marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, lose, they spray they you spray with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their it's own fault, fault for losing. losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever in the story are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Go. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natalie said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. 
I'll be back to playing Snake Knight and Jackstone by myself in no time. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Accio. Revelio.
Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Reveille! Accio! Revelio. Levio. Ready. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. More luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. How ever did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it. You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells.
Milk has to go. Mm, sweet. Milk is still mixed. Mm. That's not necessary. As long as we're only one time a week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the leak. These peas will make me late. He tried to stop me, did right by his car, sought to trap me, confined me inside of a jar. But he failed us in his containment charts, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc in the car. It was granted my privileges to be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Let me listen. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded the prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or do yep. alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Yeah. 
Champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something in mind for you. Again, congratulations on your first cross corners victory. Well fought. Hello. hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Rebellion! Lumos! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be here? Akio! Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. 
You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with a murder to see who's more infuriating know-it-all. Rebellion. You can get more. Oh dear, I shall get in trouble. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Ami spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Revelio! Akio! Revelio! Akio! This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion. 
Luma. Revelio. Accio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cresta. Rebellion. Oh, she's shower. She's <laughs> sleep. Yeah, I'm wake up in a minute. I'm gonna change my diaper. Hello, Hello Cressida. Cressida. I collected, I collected your, books, your books, including your diary. Oh, oh what, a what a relief. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll, I'll happily take, take the heavy lot off your hands your now. Hand. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. Why would you say that? But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. She kind of should never have trusted them. I might have turned around on that. It's an hour. It's an hour. You have to get out of four. Oh, so now. Like five. Yeah. When did you. I thought it was. Why you were 
。七点第一个事儿。Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's our five minutes. Yeah. 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 Ye
I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys. Dudley and Airy. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> oh, Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand? Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbil and Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. 
Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heartstring. Let's give this one a try. for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Here. Take it! indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <laughs> <laughs>